Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you and mm, love to you all. The main man's back and Jay is 100% back. He's 100% himself. He's had a fantastic day. I've had a glorious day today, folks. A fantastic day. And I want to share with you the seven deadly sins of atheism today. This is from a lot of study, a lot of analysis. Uh, it is a lot of scholarly information has gone into this over the last two years. So I'm speaking from authority when I'm talking about these seven things. Because I'm telling you, what I'm about to tell you is the absolute truth about atheism today. What are the seven deadly sins of atheism? Number one, atheism is childish. You look at the videos that the atheists are pumping out today, whether it be stamp collector, no stamp collector, whether it be Thunderfoot, whether it be whoever you want to be, and you will find a, a great deal of childishness. Just type in coffee with Claire, and you'll find that these atheists are often making very childish and immature videos. It's very sad to see. Secondly, the atheist uh, and the atheism is guilty of being sinful in the area of a dogmatism now the dogmatic spirit doesn't like to be questioned if you start to question these atheists they will get upset with you they'll get fed up with you they 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 will they will not like it and when you start to question them what they will do is they will call what i call the mafioso spirit you know in the catholic church uh, in the middle ages they were so dogmatic then that if you questioned them, they would just pounce on you and uh, get rid of you. That's what the atheists do today. They pounce on you and get rid of you with a mafioso kind of spirit. Now, I don't mean they kill you. They, you know, they won't do anything like that. But what they will do is they will destroy your career. They will destroy your YouTube channel by trying to make you stupid or, or whatever. But they will just do everything they can to destroy you. If you can, if you begin to question them, uh, destroy you by making videos, destroy you by by spinning stories about you that aren't true. But anything uh, in the media that would just make you look bad, that's how they destroy you. And it's a dis it's cause it's a dogmatic spirit. They don't like to be questioned. And you'll find that with the atheism uh, around today. The third thing is evasiveness. The seven the the seven deadly sins. Uh, and one of them, the third one, is evasiveness. You will find you can never pin the YouTube atheist down, especially, um, or any of these well-known atheists, or um, any of the minor ones. You start to question them, and you start to give facts and information that proves them wrong, and they're, they're like little slippery eels, they'll slip away. And it's hard to corner them, and actually get them to admit that they've been wrong. And if you beat them in any area, they just slither away and pretend nothing happened. And I've found this aversive spirit uh, amongst atheists uh, in a big way on YouTube. Fourthly, illogical. The atheists on YouTube are totally illogical. I mean, really, really illogical. I'll show you. Uh, and it, it's also this lo illogic is you can see all over the internet um, on their websites. I mean... One illogical example is this. They, they will go something like this. We Christians will argue uh, something cannot come from nothing. You know, something cannot come from nothing. So if something came from nothing, it could have only been God that has done it. Well, the atheists will say, using Krauss and other atheist scientists, well, something, nothing, something coming from nothing, the word nothing is actually something. All right, there's actually something. There's there's never anything, nothing. There's always something. And they will give their own scientific spin upon it. But at the end of the day, when you get down to the end of matter, when you get down right to the end, to you get to the quarks and, and, and past the quarks or whatever, you get right to the end of the end. At the end of the line, you come. And then you get to nothing. So that's how illogical they are. They don't realize how silly they are. Number five, they are definitely unscientific. You uh, show them scientific information. You show that their science is not true. You show that their science is illogical. And they just will not accept it. They will just do magical science. They will make things 
work that do not work. They will make mutations, for example, in evolution work when it doesn't work. They will spin things that you can clearly show are, are wrong scientifically, but magically they make it appear as if it does. So they're unscientific, and this is a, a big thing with modern atheism today. Sixthly, they are very aggressive. There is like a, a Jesuit hardcore atheism about that is so aggressive that if you step out of line, they will come down on you very hard. They will spin stories about you. They will um, challenge you, but in an extremely aggressive way so that you feel intimidated. And then fi seventh deadly sin is they are selfish. You look at the main le uh, representatives of modern atheism today and you will see a deep ingrained selfishness. Now, the the sort of rank and file atheist, what it's about for them, it's about individuality, that free thinkers are individuals. And it's about pushing back the tides of dogmatism in their own minds and bringing free thought and, and be able to have free thought. Now, what's happened is we've they've got now famous atheists such as Aaron Ra and Thunderfoot, etc. But the problem is that these famous atheists are becoming so famous that it what's more important is them rather than their cause. So the cause that atheists, the rank and file atheists are, are all up for standing for, the famous atheists are spoiling it because of their selfishness, because they're so interested in their own fame and it's moved away from the cause of atheism. And so there's a deep ingrained selfishness there. So you, for example, you see two famous atheists, Thunderfoot and Myers, uh, battling it out with each other. And um, what it is, is, is it's fame. Each one is saying, I'm more important than you. And, and it's become about them rather than the cause. And they become extremely selfish. And you can see that with Aaron Ra and others too. It's a, more about who they are as people rather than the cause. You see it with Richard Dawkins, it's more about his finances, it's more about his reputation rather than actually the cause. And there's a deep-seated selfishness there. So, we've seen the seven deadly sins of atheism. This is uh, coming with authority. I've seen the atheist for two years and this is my general understanding of what I've seen the atheists on YouTube are like. Not everyone's like that, there are some who are not. There's a few. But generally, atheism has these seven deadly sins. Thank you for listening. Please leave your comments and God bless you. So young people, don't follow atheism. Whatever you do, look to Christ. God bless you.